What it is, what it do, cyber world. It is your girl, the one, the only, Ash Said It. Ash Said It dot com. Ash Said It dot com. Welcome to the Ash Said It daily podcast show. I appreciate you guys for all of your love and support. Over 1,600 episodes and half a million streams worldwide. None of this will be possible without you guys. So I thank you so very, very much. And yes, we are in wonderful springtime here. Yes, springtime. Summer is just around the corner. So you know that means it's filter season, all right? For all of my techie people, for all my people like myself that are all over social media, and we're always looking for really awesome, really great tools that you don't need to have, I don't know, like a PhD or something in Photoshop in order to do. So today I've got with me from Pixlr, the wonderful Ola. Hey, Ola. <laughs> Hey, thank you. How are you doing uh, today? I'm just doing fine. It's actually spring in Sweden, so this Ooh. is the best time of the year, so I'm really happy. Yes. So we came off uh, ah. the winter season and a lot of snow, so gotcha. yeah, I'm really happy about that. Yeah, so you guys are, are sharing the spring with us. I like that. I like that. That's yeah. really awesome. So for you, what is the what is the average temperature right now in Sweden? Oh, so it's spring. So oh. <laughs> we usually have like 15 Celsius, uh-huh. uh, 15, 20 Celsius, but it's April, so it can start snowing yesterday, like tomorrow. <laughs> it's just really weird. So it was just like really nice t-shirt weather, and the day after it was a snowstorm. So, oh, God, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can see that <laughs> happening. All right, Ola. So let's yeah. get down. Let's get down to it. What was the inspiration behind Pixlr? All right. So I started Pixlr like a long time ago. It was like twelve years ago. Mm-hmm. Um, and at that point, um, just editing photos was really hard and cumbersome. Mm-hmm. Um, like you had to do. Uh, I knew you had to download a big suite of software mm. and you buy a you know, expensive license to uh, just use it. And then, you, as you said, you, you actually needed a PhD in, in, in just mm. photo editing to understand the UI and, and all, all that stuff. So it started off as actually it's something similar to Instagram, like a, a system for posting images online. Mm. And one of the parts of that posting process was I wanted to add some cool effects on top of them, the images are posted. So mm. I started going down the route to just applying effects on images, mm. and that kind of took over, and the, the idea of posting images just uh, was dropped, and I went into doing photo editing, um, mm. mainly so. Okay. So then I released Picture. Uh, the first product was uh, something similar to, you know, Photoshop, a desktop-esque, like UI. Right. Um, and then the the following years, we released like Pixar Express and a bunch of mobile apps and and so on. Okay. Um, after about after about two years, the the site and service was acquired by Autodesk, a big American company. Mm-hmm. Um, so I stayed for two years. Uh, we grew out the service um, to be the biggest uh, photo editing service in the world, mm-hmm. uh, and then I left uh, doing other stuff. Um, and then Autodesk actually dropped the ball and didn't put any attention into this mm. the server system. Um, and so it got acquired by a, an, an Asian firm called 123RS. And they yeah. contacted me and said, hey, we, we just bought your baby. Do Aww. you want to come over and see how it is? <laughs> and then I, we talked a bit and they, they asked me if I wanted to come back. And that was like two, two and a half years ago. Mm. So at that point, we really need to redo everything. So yeah. we start from scratch. So we created created new products um, um, and gone from there. So I, I kind of halted a downturn in traffic and started growing the service again. Right. Um, so we're on it. We're on an upbeat trend again and doing cool and great stuff. And people love the service and so on. Yes. It works again. Okay. So, so for for you, what would you say has been the biggest compliment that customers or just people in general have about the tool? That it's, it's so easy and good looking <laughs> and just works. Um, it loads really fast and mm-hmm. speed is important. We don't lock it down. You don't, we don't force people to log in and so on. So just the right. ease of use. Yeah. Um, I had this simple metric in the beginning that it needed to be quicker to go to pixel.com, 
open an image, crop it, and save it. Then it mm. took to actually start up a big photo editing suite on your computer. Right. Um, so add this. It should be really, really fast and efficient because we realize that we're usually part of a workflow. You're mm. usually like creating a new boot thumbnail or you're creating a blog post or a PowerPoint presentation or something. Mm -hmm. um, so we're the, we're the helping hand in, in some <laughs> other uh, workflow. Yeah. So that was really important, just, just to be easy and be there. Yes, no, definitely. For so, me, I'm I'm a person as as I've told a lot of people and a lot of people know. I am constantly on the go, Ola. So with me being a social media influencer and trying to keep up with the times of things and editing pictures on the go, and I was living out of a suitcase for about three years as I was a flight attendant. I didn't have really time or space to have like this big software on my computer and loading it up and getting things set up so when I was introduced to Pixlr I was like oh my gosh this is what I needed like my whole entire um social media uh career <laughs> because <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah and it's the same thing so if, if you're working in an office you're not a designer mm -mm. but you're in an office and you need to just fix some images and crop them and post them on, on some social media or something right you just want to have a quick way of doing that. So that yeah. was, people are really happy about the, the fact that it's easy and open and, and free to use. And then, of course, time has changed. So mm -hmm. nowadays we focus more on getting even quicker for people, like remove background with, you know, AI. Right. Uh, so instead of manually selecting background and cutting it out, we just click a button and the background is removed. And, and we just released a... Uh, uh, a bunch of templates, thousands and thousands of templates for YouTube thumbnails and Instagram posts and ads and so on. Mm -hmm. So just starting off from a pre-made template would also speed up the workflow. So if you just need something to post, uh, you know, your own trip or you want to do some ads or you want mm -hmm. to do something and just not starting off from scratch really gets you going. Yeah. No, I, like I said, I am all on board for you guys and, and continuing to, to move forward and do different things because like, like you were saying earlier, like it, this is not a, a tool that you need to go through a whole YouTube tutorial. You don't have to sit up here and, you know, look at cliff notes from a friend. Like literally it's as easy as just going to the site and, you know, uploading your image and just taking it from there. Like yeah. it, it doesn't, it's really not difficult at all. So I'm now that's the main goal is that it shouldn't be hard for anyone to just to do some simple photo editing. Um, we have two versions as well. So we have one that's more quick and easy with a few sliders. And then we have a, a more advanced one that's similar to a desktop version of a photo editor. That you can really go go in and do advanced stuff if, if you like. I've seen some amazing mm -hmm. just compositions and, and photo editing stuff being done on Pixar. So you can do everything from just cropping to, to amazing things. Mm. Um, so that's the, the real power. Um, yes. So Ola, what would you say is going to be the next phase of Pixar? Can we, can we talk about the next, the next version, the new debut of Pixar? Oh yeah, for sure. Um, so as I said before, we are always trying to do it things simpler for people mm -hmm. um, so a lot of AI is going to put in are going to be put into the system so open the image and we can suggest these are the things you would like probably would like to do with this image do you want to auto crop it do you want to auto fix an image uh, do you want to touch up um, your face do you want to remove the background and so on and then we can also um, tell you that this photo where it's taken should probably uh, look well in this type of template do you want to post it on social media mm. and then we can also generate 10 different versions of this image for you to post post as a story post on facebook post on twitter and and so on so we can generate all the different assets very quickly for you so that's kind of the path we're going down just being more helpful um and generating good results as, as quick, quick as possible. Yes, definitely. So, Ola, you know, what's the best way for people to, of course, check out the tool and then follow you guys across social media? Yeah, so it's pixel.com. It's P-I-X-L-R, um, like an old school internet, internet <laughs> web uh, URL. 
uh, pixel.com and then you can go to Instagram slash Pixlr. Uh, we have a YouTube channel with tutorials, so that's YouTube. Uh, just search for Pixel as well. You can find us on Twitter and you can find us on TikTok as well. Um, so we have all the links on pixel.com so you can go in there and just follow us uh, on the social media. We post a lot of cool stuff from, from our from the users, so you can see cool compositions of images and really mm-hmm. talented photo editing stuff going on. So the Instagram account is actually really popular, and we have half a million followers. So hey, uh, that's, that's huge! Good yes, that's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> well, shout out to you and the whole team, Ola. You guys are doing amazing work. I cannot wait to hear about okay. even more things that's happening with Pixlr in the future. As I know that you guys are developing some stuff, you know, you can't really you know, divulge and talk about it yet, but definitely looking forward to this new version of Pixlr. I'm looking forward to All that right. as well. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ola. Much more success to you and the team. Keep working hard, doing great things, and uh, helping make our lives a lot easier. I love it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, thank you so much. Thanks for having me. No problem. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Thank you so much for all of your love and support. Keeping in mind, anyone to tell you that you can't do what you want to do. You look them square in the face, you tell them, don't believe me. Just watch. Watch what I do. Watch me make it happen. Watch me make history. That's what we're doing this for, the history books. Social media is nice, but real life is so much better. Until next time, you guys.